Hello everyone and welcome to this video overview of our third leadership module in our balanced assessment series where we are focusing on tools to support assessment leadership. My name is Carrie McDaniel and I'm joined today by Misty Higgins and we are professional learning coordinators in the Division of Program Standards at the Kentucky Department of Education. And this year we are focusing our work around addressing two essential questions. So what resources are available to support Kentucky educators as they work to create and implement a comprehensive balanced system of assessment that is aligned to the Kentucky academic standards? And then also, how can schools and districts utilize the formative assessment process to help students meet the grade level expectations built within the CAS? We are currently in our second year of the three year implementation plan that is focused on balanced assessment. So really addressing the question of how do we know if students have learned by drilling down on formative assessment. So now let's look at our learning goals for this module. So by the end of module three, leaders will understand a process that they can use to build and implement both a comprehensive balanced assessment system and a formative assessment action plan at the local level. They will also understand the purpose of the different tools that are included in the assessment leadership toolkit and how those tools work together. In terms of the success criteria for this module, we want leaders to be able to identify relevant tools and then adapt those tools for use at the local level and to develop and implement an action plan that's focused on leading a comprehensive balanced assessment system that also emphasizes and supports formative assessment. Module three takes approximately two hours to complete. However, this can be broken down into more than one session. So to assist in planning, we have provided estimated times for each section of the module in the facilitator's guide. So module three is composed of six sections and you can see the estimated times for each section in the right hand column. Section one provides a brief overview of the module, including the learning goals and success criteria. Section two will orient participants to foundational resources and key considerations to support leaders in this work. Module three focuses on four assessment leadership competencies that can serve as a guide to effective assessment leadership. Section four walks leaders through a process they can use to establish a local comprehensive assessment system and the various tools to support each part of the process. And section five examines four steps in leading for formative assessment, again, as well as the tools to support each step. And then the module wraps up with leaders reflecting on their learning and brainstorming possible next steps. And so like Misty shared, this module is broken down into six sections. There are three leadership modules in all within the series, each intended to build on the previous module before it. This third leadership module includes a facilitator's guide, PowerPoint presentation, and an assessment leadership toolkit with additional resources you can utilize back in your own school or district. And so here you see the five steps for building a local balanced assessment system that is comprehensive and tailored to fit the needs and vision of your own school or district. For each of the five steps in the process for building a comprehensive balanced system of assessment, we have created a toolkit with links to resources you can utilize to assist you along the way. Here's a snapshot of just one of those steps so you can see how each table in the toolkit is laid out. Each step in the table provides you with a purpose, intended audience, use, as well as valuable tools and resources. Here you see the four steps for creating a formative assessment action plan much like we did for building a local comprehensive balance system of assessment, we've created a toolkit as a reference for you matching each step in the process. And here you see a small snapshot of part of the toolkit aligned to that action plan. And again, each step maps out the purpose, intended audience, use, tools, and resources. As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to either of us. Missy and I are happy to clarify or address any wonderings you may have along the way. And remember, you can access this module if you go to the leadership trainings icon under PL modules on KYStandards.org. Thank you for joining us today.